Hello everyone and thanks for hanging out with me. Today I want to talk to you about the difference between Walter, my ID3, first edition plus with the 58 kilowatt hour battery and no heat pump and has 19 inch Loen winter tires. I think it was Continental, the rims are called Loen. Um, against an ICE car because last week, was it last week or two weeks ago? I think it was two weeks ago. Um, uh, uh, Walter was at the workshop and they, they, they replaced something. It wasn't broken, but I don't know, it was a new version. They wanted to do that. And I, uh, because they didn't, uh, didn't finish when I went home from work, I got a loaner. Uh, an ice car it was a not diesel i don't know a, a skoda or something maybe something like this yeah it's like this in the front the fabia <laughs> even in no it was in blue um uh, but it was the car that did you see in front of me that's good and <laughs> it's funny and uh, i want to talk about the difference in winter driving between walter and this car because i, I got to I, I always drive walter to work in the morning and then in the afternoon home it's a 26 kilometer ride to work and then 26 kilometer home um, and, and what's the difference is in comfort and in cost because of course comfort um, is is amazing in 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 the ID3 because I have my uh, preheating scheduled. So when I go in here, I have it on 23 degrees. I like it warm, but at 6:30 every morning, the car is preheating. Um, if when it's not plugged in, uh, it's preheating the car and preheating battery. But we we'll talk about this a bit later. First, I have to push drive a bit what the hell is it raining now cruise control and that's it um, so it, it's preheating the car and, it, and that's just amazing to come into uh, get into a car in the morning that's nice and warm that's just awesome also what I love about Walter is the steering wheel heater I never thought I would like that but I have to say, and it's not about that the steering wheel, uh, uh, that, that your, how you say that, the steering wheel is not cold. So when you preheat the car, the steering wheel is, is okay. That's not the thing. But when you have cold hands from outside, I don't know, you shoveled, shoveled snow or whatever, and your hands are cold, then the steering wheel is a nice source of heat for the hands. I like that. I really like that. But what I noticed with the ice car was, of course, it took which is good for the ice car, so it's more efficient. It took almost 15 to 20 minutes till the cabin was warm. And I mean that you were like, okay, I don't need, it's now it's warm, I'm not freezing anymore. It took that long. Uh, outside temperature, the last, last week today, it's pretty warm, nine degrees, really weird for the end of January and sunny and windy. But last week, or was it two weeks ago? I can't remember. <laughs> um, it was it was minus degrees, so so it was a minus three or something, and uh, it just took a long time in the ice car to, to really get warm. the The seat heater in in the in the Skoda was um, were amazing. They were way better than here in the ID3. ID3, the seat heater get warm normally, it's totally fine, but uh, they don't get amazingly hot. They get warm and it's okay and it's fine. I, I, don't, I don't mind, and my, my, but my wife is not happy with them. It's just, it's in the, in the Skoda, it, it felt way better. You have to drive away a bit and show the, the people that this car is, yeah, and they're far away. <laughs> Put the cruise control on my 110 and uh, so so I, I felt that when you when you're driving to work like I said 26 kilometers it takes also around 26 minutes uh, it's mostly this country road here and then a bit of city and uh, it's just 
it takes a uh, time to heat up the ice car but when the, the 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 skoda was warm it was also feeling better because in the id3 when it gets to the temperature that you want let's do 22 and a half degrees when it comes to that temperature then you feel a tiny bit of cold air coming in and that's why i always put it up in the morning to even 24 degrees it just feels better for the whole drive it feels warm not okay it's warm warm and then i don't know i feel cold air somewhere and and or colder air it's not really cold but colder than than uh, what you want and i'm a frozen one i know um so so and, and of course you have to thought it doesn't matter my fuel consumption is not higher in the ice car when the heat is on or not and in the electric car you have that so it was way more comfortable in the id3 to get to work warm right away um, and the steering wheel heater but when the car was warm in the ice car it felt better there the seat heater and and how warm it was in the car it just felt better in there because it was keep keeping the heat uh, even more and it just felt felt nice but again 20 minutes or 15 minutes of cold and that's just horrible really horrible and the, the last point uh, and that's what the title is about is what it cost so I drove the, the ice car from uh, the workshop to home and then from home to back to the workshop again the fifth a bit over 50 kilometers and I had to fuel it up before I uh, give it back and, and I paid four euros 91 cent I, I used the, the cheaper fuel the E10 or E5 I think E10 um, and I don't know how much I, I needed I, I, the, the price right now when I was fueled up the price was I think 135 or something so it was okay it's a bit more expensive now but let's say five euros and Walter this ID3 with no heat pump in the winter when I preheat the car not with the, the it doesn't matter if I preheat with with the charger or let uh, the, the car is not plugged in because uh, it, it costs the same um, and it takes the same the same energy but I preheat the car in the morning and and preheating in in the morning at home takes six almost five to six percent depending on the temperature outside um, of the battery because the, the ID3 does not just heat up the car it also heats up the battery it wants the battery to be at 13 degrees I seen that with my OBD 11.2 dongle it heats it up to the 13 degrees and then it's happy so you have uh, a full region and full power and you have all the range that the, the battery can give you but it's also not a temperature where you can fast charge very fast so it's just there so that the battery can give you all its power and like I said five to six percent then I drive to work and because to work it's a bit downhill so it's all fine but then going back home it takes because it's all uphill it takes a lot and I use a lot of power what do we have right now let's look today because right now I have 280 watt hours per kilometer and the heat is not even on very much and I don't think the battery heat is on but it's, it's all uphill like I said and I drive with I don't drive too slow I drive 110 and I accelerate because it's fun uh, so I'm not I'm not uh, saving a lot I just ha like to have fun and it is fun um, but like and I don't even preheat the car before I drive home and it doesn't even matter if I preheat or not um, because I mean it, it matters a bit when you get into a cold car and then you drive and preheat the car of course it's less comfortable and you need less energy but I want it comfortable and but on the way home I don't preheat the car before I go home so so I go into get into a colder car it's not very cold because it's afternoon and uh, I drive home the car heats up nicely uh, and preheats the battery again if it is cold again because I drive my 26 minutes um, the car uh, is parked at work cools down again and then the same thing again and I use it depends on how cold it is outside but 30 to 40 percent of the battery for for uh, the, the 50 
more than 52 kilometers. That's a lot. Because of the preheating of the battery and the preheating of the car, it's just, or heating up of the, of the battery and heating the car, it's just a lot. It's a lot of power and, and when I calculate that, that means with the 25.4 cent, euro cent that I pay at home for, for power, in Germany it's not cheap, it's renewable energy, uh, um, but still, even, even when you don't do that, it's not that cheap in Germany, it's how, how the, the power prices are uh, and, and we don't have off-peak prices, it's the same the whole day but I pay above five euros. So it's more expensive to drive with the ID3 to work than it was with the ICE car. It's less comfortable, but that's how it is. And that's just because of the battery heating. If there would be a button where I just can say, no, don't preheat the battery, it would be less, <laughs> a lot less, because I can see when I'm, drive when I'm standing and it's preheating the battery when it's really cold outside, let's say minus five, and I, and, I, and I heat up the cabin and, I heat, and it heats up the battery. It can be a consumption of 10 kilowatt hours, uh, 10 kilowatt that it needs to, to heat up all the stuff. And when I turn the heat off, it's around five to six kilowatt just for battery heater. And then the, the cabin heater can take up to, it's, it's a bit cold in here, can, can uh, take up to four, or sometimes, maybe I have seen five kilowatt, I can't remember. But it's just, uh, a lot, and and I'm not make want uh, want to make the the, the ID3 look bad, but it's just how it is. I love the car, I love driving it, um, and I prefer driving it. It's more comfortable, it feels better. I'm okay that it costs a bit more now in the winter, but that's just reality how it is right now. Right now, important is that I still have the 0783 software on there, ME 2.0 not the final starting software that you come in the next weeks. Um, maybe it will be different, I don't know. But that's how it is. But that's it for me. Thank you much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.